So Ian Vance, the senior from Duluth, Georgia, one of the few seniors on this team, will kick it off, and Marquise Mays and Julio Jones are back deep for the tie. This is Mays at the 10. Has a chance. And he stopped at the 33. There you go. England behind him in the pistol. McElroy throws on first down and Julio Jones on the edge. Stiff arm gets loose. It's going to be very tough for the undersized corners of Georgia State to deal with old number eight. I think Julio Jones really has come into his own. He's finally healthy this year, and it's a chance for him tonight. You mentioned the undersized corners, what he can do. Here's his Ingram. Wide open in the flat. And Ingram gets down inside the Georgia State 35-yard or 40-yard line. Alabama has not scored a touchdown on their opening drive of the game since the Duke game. He wants everyone to take this as a serious game preparing for the Auburn matchup next week. Empty backfield on second down. Michael will fire short. And it's caught near sideline. It's Preston Dial. Didn't know we'd see much of the Wildcats tonight. We don't expect a lot of wrinkles from Jim McElroy, the offensive coordinator. It's Julio Jones on the end of the round, and number eight finds a crease and goes for about eight. He had his first rushing touchdown of the season last week against Mississippi State. Only carried it four times. You know, one thing you want to do tonight is give Auburn a lot of things to prepare for in that week leading up to the big game next Friday. And room on the left side has a first down pushed out at the 17-yard line by Brandon Jones, the safety. McElroy to Jones. Gets a block on the edge and gets down inside the 10. And see right now, Des, if you're a receiver, especially a big as physical receiver as Julio Jones. Second and short. Same play. Gets a block on the edge. Jones fighting toward the pylon. Touchdown. Darius Hanks gave him a block and the tie find the end zone. On the opening possession. If quarterback, running back, and receivers give him a chance to be able to make plays out in space. Cade Foster, a kind of a short pooch kickoff, which will bounce and backspin. That's a win. Wow, big hit. Harris Lee, the kick returner, got hammered by Demarcus Milner, the true freshman corner. The big key here is, will Drew Little have much time to throw against Battle? And play action fake. Little over the middle, has a man wide open. Emmanuel Boy, the tight end in the alley. Territory to the 30. That woke the crowd up here. <laughs> woke me up. And some movement on the right side of the Panthers' offensive line. Dead ball foul. False start. Number 71. Offense. Five yard penalty. Still first down. So first and 15. Little fires downfield into traffic and almost picked off. A flag comes in late. Milner broke it up. Yeah, they're talking to Nick Saban. This is going to be offensive pass interference. Pass interference, number 15, offense. Yeah, 15 it, yards it's going to be a penalty, Chris, spot. but let's go back Replay to Replay first down. To... And third down, Little rolls to his left. Delivers into traffic. Mark Barron in the neighborhood, and he picks it off. So he tried to get the ball to Williams, but the force by Little and Barron with his third pick of the season. Wildcat Ingram with Jones in motion. And the Heisman Trophy winner keeps it. Turns the corner, picks up. That's six or seven. Aaron? That was when the Braves were in the playoffs, so Georgia State had more people in the stand than the Braves game in the playoffs. Wow. <laughs> There's a completion near side to Mays. He's got a first down. Yeah, they do 30 pass for the home opener. Maybe the corner's like they're trying to play up a little more now. Better be careful because they'll go right behind them. Andrew, seven left. Runs to a tackle. Pass down inside the 35. Got a flag down. Yeah, I think Mays got caught there. Holding number four, offense. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of foul. Replay second down. After the penalty, it's second and 11. Michael Roy looks near side. Finds Hanks. Hanks in the middle. Gets some blocks. And McClure has a first down and more. Well, they, they won that first down. They, they only held him to, to, to two yards. So second and eight. Ingram running through tackles again. And Mark Ingram in the clear. Inside the 10. And when you have a guy with that type of attitude, yeah. he's just going to get better. Absolutely. Ingram, touch left on his feet. Lowers his head, stretches toward the goal line, stops short. This is what these Georgia State players have dreamt, dreamt about. Let's see if they can go out there and hold up another play here down inside the one-yard line. 
Ingram on fourth down. Gets the corner touchdown. But they had to earn it. And they had to go wide. And you sweated so much, you've lost 14 pounds of dehydration, and all you can think about is quitting. You look in your brother's eye, and without saying a word, I want him to feel it from you. I cannot let you down. Repeat after me, I will not let you down. I will not let you down. Offered a volleyball scholarship to Boise State, decided to play football at Georgia State. Chris Mays is back deep, took one to the house, but it was called back against Mississippi State. No chance to return this one as it spins dead at the 37-yard line. But maybe a little double move. Yeah, those corners are starting Jones. to cheat up a little bit now. So They fake it to Eddie Lacy, who's replaced Ingram, and McElroy flies it far side to Julio, who just shakes off a tackle, help arrives. This is tantamount to a bowl trip for these kids, yeah. you know. This is almost like going to Disney. This is Eddie Lacy. That's your freshman looking into the secondary and taking <laughs> carries. <laughs> Mark, yeah, third down. Roll with it, guys. <laughs> Here comes some pressure. McElroy delivers and hit short of the first down is Jones. It'll be fourth and two. Officially a 49-yarder for the true freshman from Texas. It's going to be called as long. There's a whistle before. Did they take too much time? I think the decision on whether or not to kick the field goal Before or not. the snap, delay of game. That's what causes offense, my, see that, You want to see how to fire up Nick Saban? Snap is high. McCarron gets it down. Good boot from Foster. But missed it wide left. You know, against Arkansas, I thought they may have turned the corner. In that second half, they came out, got some big picks, won the game on the road against a, one of the top quarterbacks in the SEC, Ryan Mallett. Oh, and the seconds. picks. <laughs> the screen picked off and taking it back is C.J. Mosley, the freshman to the house. Right on cue. <laughs> Select your point. Unusual made yeah, formation. There's not yeah. a left side. It's in the backfield. Exactly. It's been a strength that punting game. They're doing a good job of getting it deep and out of bounds. They, they really are. <laughs> the offense needs to help the yeah, defense yeah. a little bit, though. Yeah. The wind's supposed to be blowing out on Saturday, which means that means a high-scoring <laughs> game. Pitch it off near side. Julio's got some blockers, shakes some tackles, and Julio Jones headed for Panther territory down inside the 40. And an unselfish player as well. I mean, he's, blocker, he's more willing yeah. to block than he is to catch the ball. He does have six catches tonight, and Ingram, after his little rest, is back in the ball game and cutting left. Ingram, Sutter Step still running inside the 20. But like I said, we'll stay tuned to see how uh, how that right field wall holds up with those players. It's arena style there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's tight. McElroy yeah. for the end zone. Touchdown what? catch by oh, Julio gosh. Jones. Hello. Excellent catch. That's what a reach up and pluck it with your hands. No doubt about it. A couple of screws, a plate in that hand. Doesn't yeah. matter, huh? <laughs> no. Is anybody? No. no. Ever. No. Right. Kick work, but Hill takes off. That's that's first at least, run. At yeah, least yeah. the look you know is what? something that gives Alabama a chance to at least give a, a sneak peek. Yet another third and long for the Panthers. And Hill takes off. It's out across the 35. He'll be short by about five yards. Time for Bo Schlechter. He's had a couple of good boots tonight for the Panthers. Uh oh Methodical. It's blocked. Picked up. And here comes a touchdown for the Crimson Tide. Brandon Gibson waltzes into the end zone. And a flag is down, so we'll check that. Illegal formation. Okay. Offense. Penalties decline. Touchdown. <laughs> Dave Foster to boot it off. McCray and Wilson are deep. And this is the freshman out for Wilson. Gets a block on the edge. And a good return. And loses the ball. Todd Havoc. Uh, Wilson had a promising return, coughed it up, and Brandon Gibson, who just took the block punt back for a touchdown, makes another big play on special teams. Things could get real ugly in the hurry. McElroy over the middle, delivers. Mays has room. Marquis Mays hurdles a defender, and he's going to be stopped about the 15-yard line. But he's got tremendous physical ability and a strong arm. Lacey left again. 
And he Lacy muscles down inside the five. It'll be first and goal. They continue to work that left side. Lacy again, running left. Lowers the head and dies for the end zone. Gabriel comes back out with his shoulder pads on after halftime. I was shot. What about the work that the Cade Foster's right leg is getting? <laughs> Boots it deep again. This is Wilson who just fumbled the previous return. Here's a good return, and off goes Albert Wilson, the true freshman. Still running, stays in bounds, and takes it the distance. A moment he'll never forget. A touchdown <laughs> in Tuscaloosa. McCarron and the tie back to work, and he'll throw for the first time tonight. Puts it near side to Earl Alexander. And the veteran handles across the 3 yard line. Barnes on the stop. And that's what I like about Coach Saban. He's going to coach you no matter who you're playing against, what you're doing out there. He wants you to get better. Or no matter what the score of the game is. Exactly. You know, and really ask Coach about it afterwards. This is Lacey. And, and it was interesting to hear Coach uh, Saban say, you know, you were, you were being challenged and, and tested on one thing, and that was leadership. Instead of just a quarterback that's going to sit back there and put up numbers and, and throw for a lot of yards and, and be an individual star. Lacey's the workhorse now, and he's got a first down at the 35. And uh, he was trying to press upon me to go out there and block. Like you may see all these zones and always made. a yeah, big exactly. thing in Michigan. Though. Right, it was huge. And emphasize there more than anywhere. Oh, yeah. We used to bump heads about it and everything. More physical ability than that. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt about it. Here's McCarron. Delivers a strike near side. And the catch is made by Kevin Norwood. Just his second catch of the season. But Lacey's still behind McCarron. Outside throw. Delivers. Ball caught. And Smelly. And we'll have... Play clock at five on second and goal. They just get it off. McCarron looks left, fires high over the hands again of Earl Alexander. Adrenaline for the quarterback and a yeah. hot high delivery. Oh, they had a penalty in. On the offense, five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay second down. You see the flag. And throw it wherever you need to. Just throw it away and save yourself some time and save yourself a chance to get a field goal. He's fortunate that Lacey dropped that. Yeah, the whole clock management thing, a work in progress for McCarron. Far too leisurely earlier in that drive, and Shelley off the upright misses the field goal attempt. 27 yard or so, not good punctuation for the first half of the Crimson Tide. <laughs> 42 <laughs> said, booze. The backup kicker hit the upright. <laughs> kicker. High standards here, Kirk. You know that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So. Clock management in the field goal not executed well. And let's go to Aaron. Whistle movement for the Panthers is back up five down. yards. False start, number 72, offense, five yard penalty, still first down. And pistol formation. Not a left tackle move, 78. It's kind of predictable, Kirk. I mean, this place was shocked when the Panthers gained 55 yards on their first. Play. Got a bunch formation to the right of Little. Tied only rush three. Little takes a shot and it's intercepted. And the freshman Milner has his first pick of the season. He's played so brilliantly, Kirk, all year long. Hadn't had a pick until that one. It's the third for Little. Karen gets it out, blows into traffic on third down. Catch made by Norwood is a yard short of the marker at the 25. Lacey to the left. Makes the tackle. Eddie Lacey down inside the 10. First and goal. Five on the play clock. That's a slot receiver if he wants it. In the end zone, and it's a touchdown. He found Chris Underwood. Tight end was wide open. Third touchdown pass of the season as McElroy senior applauds his understudy's performance. Just Wrigley Field, the friendly confines. It'll be it's gonna be a lot of fun. Kelton Hill back in as they run the Wildcat, but he hands off inside here to Evans. 
and, and Butkus could tackle in the mud. And he, I think Dick liked the mud a lot. But the mud made the ball slippery, and I was an undersized center, so that took away my only advantage, which was a, just a one scintilla of quickness. Are you going to make it to game day, Desmond? Are you going to be all right? He's eating four Krispy <laughs> Kreme donuts, folks. Knocked him out. Four donuts in the booth here in the last 15 minutes. Oh, oh he picked off. Oh, Drew, Another Drew, interception. Drew. And Alabama set up inside the red zone here. They're showing outstanding endurance with these donuts going down. <laughs> You know, I got a feeling that McCarron isn't crazy about getting a short field. I think he wants to air it out. You know, this is not his game. He gets to go outside. Good. This time able to muscle over the goal line. And the count over half a hundred for Alabama now. That's just good smash mouth football right there. Still a long way to go, but it could end up in a three-way tie, which you would think would give Wisconsin the advantage. There's Hill handing off the ball to Evans. What do you think Wisconsin and Michigan, Desmond? This Michigan defense actually showed up and played okay. Could the Panthers convert on third down? Haven't done it yet tonight. 0 for 7. Hill chased wide and does get the first down as he's shoved out at about the 43. Go back to Evans. Sutter sets. Gets near midfield. It'll be a third manageable again. Jarrell Harris stopped him after a six-yard game. Nobody's been able to stop Cam Newton in that option attack. Hill on third down. Takes off. Shows some quickness and gets another first down. He's at the Alabama 47-yard line. It's not just about stopping him and McCaleb in that running game with Dyer. It's about holding up and being sound on the back end against the passing game. You know, all these Alabama coaches say, what do you know? This kid eating, kid. Fourth down play, here comes the crowd. Hill <laughs> looks left side in deep trouble, and he's dropped for a sack. The first of the night for the Crimson Tide. Chris Jordan got him. Had the pick, and now the sack. You only have 17 sacks all season. And Karen, it's a chance to pitch it out here with Kenny Bell, and Bell makes his second reception yeah. in 2010 and it's not always about the sack no, it's, it's about the hurry but and so they've had to be a little they've streamlined some things and been a bit more conservative and that's why they haven't come up with the sacks there's old Jalston Fowler he's way down at the depth chart for the Crimson Tide and he hammers ahead for a first down he gave, tomorrow, it, he gave it a 12 yeah. donut, <laughs> the 12 donut morning. workout did it right. <laughs> it's called maintaining right there. Yes, Jalston sir. Fowler yes, in the loose Fowler to the house he showed some wheels on that. You see? Kind of got the gate. Man, you know, Fowler's got speed. Look at him. This one goes 36. <laughs> and a lot of people have bid on to that and said, okay, now they've got a blueprint. Let me just make a prediction right now. They'll score over 50 against Arizona. Wow. They will? Yeah. And we got Marquise Mays caught from behind. The ball pops loose. And the Panthers fall in it. Let's see if they. Say he was down. He's going to spot the ball there at the 44. Looks like Alabama will keep it. My point is, I don't think it was everything about Cal. I think it was more about perfect setup for Oregon to show up flat and have a chance to potentially lose a game. Let's give Mike Muhammad and that Cal defense a lot oh, yeah. They played. Sure. Actually, it was their Super Bowl. Yeah. I think he's a one and done. Yeah, well, I don't want to go that far. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of people in the Big Ten hoping he's a one and done. Mercy. <laughs> He looks strong. Yeah. Fair catch at the 12. Inside of eight minutes to play. Panthers go back on offense. Well, we have more topics to hit on when we come back. <laughs> Selector has punted well, but had one blocked. Scoop and score earlier be, tonight. Be, be careful here. They didn't really come after it. And Mays just fair making catch. a fair catch. Yeah. Yeah. So this, so that's the smart thing to do right now in this situation. Nice of him. Yeah. That, that, that's what the opportunity would be about if you're a parent sending a potential recruit or your child to that school. Well, I spoke to about five, six players Tuesday. They echoed the same thing. You know, it's about life lessons. And, and when they sat down with Bill Curry, they said that they knew this was the place that they wanted to come because he would help them in life. He, he, and he takes a lot of pride in those opportunities that he has a chance to teach his kids. Jackson hands up of the middle. 
Did a nice job, by the way, stopping Alabama on that fourth down. Ty have not converted third down as well. Somebody eventually, I guess, has to go to a BCS Bowl game with the yeah. festival. <laughs> right. And UConn has a chance still. Jackson on third down. Picks up the first down. Back to the 42. We can't change that. There's no way to. No. Big East does have to go Turns to the Turns out that's the way it is. <laughs> yeah. That's like every team in Little League getting yeah. a, a trophy. <laughs> hey, you guys won two games. Get up there and get your trophy. <laughs> Malcolm Smith breaks a tackle. Runs for about 10 yards. So what's with applauding mediocrity? Yeah, we got to get to the Des, bottom Des, when you played, you only had about a bowl system. Well, they had six or seven bowls back when you played, right? Way back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> we got to exactly. get that fixed. I, mean, I was I mean, driving to get to the Rose Bowl back then. You know? You're five and seven, and congratulations. Yeah. Jackson drifting and completes the pass. Bo Carter, short game. Two and one here against Auburn. Now we're allowed to talk about it. Malcolm Smith in a short game. The players, too. Now the players can talk about and it. This will do it. This will be the <laughs> final play. So Curry comes back to Tuscaloosa, gets a special teams touchdown. And Alabama gets the Stars safely through to their ultimate game a week from tomorrow against the Auburn Tigers. The offseason begins for Coach Curry as they begin to plot for year two at Georgia State. Again, he knew exactly what could potentially happen in this ball game, and I think it was an honor for him to have a chance to bring back Georgia State to a school where he once coached and, and had a lot of success. So Saban and the Tide move forward to the showdown here. And Tuscaloosa against Auburn try to spoil champions of the SEC West perfect season. 63-7 is the final coming up next on ESPN. U is Sports Center. U has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Kirk, Desmond, and Aaron, and our entire crew here, I'm Chris Fowler. So long for now from Tuscaloosa. We'll see you on game day Saturday morning, 9 o'clock Eastern from Wrigley Field.